Today, we're going to be spotting a lot of weakness in a lot of stocks, looking at the weekly chart. That's right, finding some weakness and momentum in these weekly charts. That's what's happening as of right now. And these are times where you really wanna pay attention to the bigger picture and say there could be some kind of crash coming around the corner. So what do we wanna to do today? We wanna to get into some technical analysis for the spy cues, Apple, Tesla, Amazon, Nvidia, AMD, and Meta going forward, looking at AMC and GME as well, and volatility that looks like it could scale up at any moment. You have to be on your toes when you're seeing signals like this for the SPY, we have the divergence down here, the divergence down here on the RSI and MACD at the same time. Now those have not confirmed, so this is still a bullish market at this moment, but if that starts to confirm, then we can see some big weakness come in, maybe wanna break through these monthly expected moves. That's right, we got the monthly expected moves for you here, and right now we do have 562.90 to the upside for July, and we have 525.54 to the downside for July. So what this is overall telling me is, hey, yeah, we're still bullish, so there is a chance that we just go right up to 562.90, something up in this area. Okay, that's what that tells me there. But if we're going to see this actually confirm, we could use this 525.54 as some kind of base this month. Now, if we get outside of that, then you're experiencing one of those crazy times and you're seeing a reversal signal here. The only problem is when I zoom out of this reversal signal, is it close to negative territory? And the answer is no, not at this moment. So if that did confirm, what if we just get some kind of pullback for a little bit and then we go into into August or something, and we see another bounce up, or maybe this is pretty brief, and then we turn right back up and we see some kind of shape like this. So we will be paying attention to whether or not things are curling up, but as of right now, you do have a weakness in momentum, which can send you negative. It still can send you straight negative, so you wanna be paying attention to your risk here because we're starting to get into a time where uh, we're getting closer and closer to the fall where they really like to sell off this market. So it looks like they weren't gonna sell it off over the summer. Okay, they're maybe going to build build it up until September, October. And we'll talk about that going forward um, in the future. But for now, what would we wanna pay attention to? Hey, there's divergence forming up here. If that confirms, that's bad news. But right now we are still bullish because that has not confirmed. But this is a sign of weakness in momentum up here and we have to pay attention to it. Over here, we started to turn a little bit with some divergence, right? but that never confirmed. So over here, we're a little bit tighter and we could see that confirmation come. And then we just gotta pay attention to if that thing is curling back up. The cues, you see a very similar thing. Very, very similar thing. The only thing about the cues that's a little bit different is you actually have triple divergence here. So the cues you have to be very worried about because you have higher and higher highs and you have lower highs all throughout your MACD here, all throughout your RSI as well. We're getting those matching highs or lower highs for the MACD and RSI. So if this starts to turn around, soon, it might not be the best news for the cues because that can, with a triple divergence, really start to send you negative. So I'm really, really iffy on stocks going forward for the next couple of months, because if this confirms at any time, I need to be on my toes and volatility is showing us something insane right now that we need to pay attention to. And if you guys want to learn a lot of this stuff, we're going to add some investment things, some swing trading courses and things like that. But right now, the course to learn about these indicators and learn about these weekly and monthly ranges and all those types of things that is in the description and it is only a hundred dollars until july 7th we extended it for a little bit i got a couple of emails saying people wanted to get it but they just need to wait a little bit and i said okay july 7th is the absolute last day that you are going to get the course for only a hundred dollars and then that price is going to go up it's going to go up okay so i just wanted to make sure everyone knew about that i respect you if you dedicate your weekend to learning but i encourage you to have a good weekend make sure to have some fun because this market is really ripping people apart so i just want you to be able to learn a little bit but also make sure to come to the market in the next week with a good mental state by having a good weekend all right Apple, what do we pay attention to here? Well, Apple actually did make this big run up, okay? So Apple might be a slightly different story. You're still holding a divergence across the way. You still have a monthly thing going on here where you're kind of creating a triple divergence on the monthly scale with this bar. So could Apple go higher? The answer is yes, it all, any stock can go higher and any stock can go lower. You just wanna pay attention to your signal. So if this weekly turns over, we're still within range of going negative here. So just pay attention to that. This is something that I think was a, a rig to move up once we got to this area. That's perfectly fine. We never saw confirmations down on the weekly scale. We didn't see that. We popped up a little bit higher. We had those ranges for you for the week and they proved to be very, very useful. So Apple looking a little different and what could we see from Apple? Well, if it, we even wanted to go a little bit higher or something like that, curl down, make a divergence here, that would be nice. But when you're this close to um, the center line, 
kind of unlikely to see a divergence. We might just see that thing turn back down very quickly. So we'll pay attention to this going forward. But um, part of me thinks like, hey, are they really going to do some kind of actual breakdown in July or are we going to break down and then bring this thing right back up into September or something like that? I think that is the more likely scenario at this point, but we still want to make sure to pay attention to our MACD. This thing is bullish right now. The point to invest right here but now you would be chasing at this point. So unless you're trading on the shorter time frames, the weekly scale says this would be chasing at this point. You're overbought now. Um, so you really have to pay attention to that. And maybe we're looking for just some kind of pullback in order for this to head higher. Because right now, this is very bullish. This is still bullish as of right now. So you can't say this is going to crash down at all. But if this starts to curl over, then we'd have some arguments there. Tesla, this one curling up in negative territory still, but curling up right here. Okay, awesome. Now we're seeing that extension. Maybe we're going to go up into this area up here. We'll pay attention to our monthly ranges. But for now, you would say, hey, it's still negative territory. So this is just a bullish contrarian signal. And if that's going to continue positive, then that will be a positive move, right? But as we run into the 200, the 50, those are some big resistances and we're running into our sell zone that we held up at a few times. So we're going to pay attention to it and just see if this rolls over, it is in negative territory. So the bullish case is this thing just crosses that center line and keeps going. The bearish case is sometime this turns around and maybe we create some kind of divergence. And I think that this is actually possible to happen this month. I actually think that's a possibility that we see some kind of dramatic downturn in some stocks um, going on into mid-July. And then we actually see that base out with a stronger base on the weekly scale for some of them like Tesla. So I'm paying attention to that. I'm really just reading the signals. But right now, this would be a contrarian bullish signal. If that rolls over, it's in negative territory. So that's not a good thing. Amazon, what do we pay attention to here? Well, it has not confirmed the next big leg higher and you're getting some resistance up in these areas. It doesn't mean we can't go do that this week or something like that so we want to pay attention to if that creates that signal but for now you would say hey this is kind of giving me rejection if we roll over right here so rejection right here would be interesting and you'll just notice in the past it's just points to pay attention to this is going to be a point to pay attention to just like over here was a point to pay attention to but did that confirm no it never confirmed so you never thought like hey this has to be the moment this would be hey there is probabilities for us to turn up but right now you're in a bearish contrarian signal saying we're in a pullback and we've kind of just moved sideways but we started to see this wick right here we'll see what happens going on into the next week i just want to pay attention to if that thing is rejecting and the big thing with amazon is going to be the monthly scale if this monthly scale can actually turn over this divergence right here you see there's triple divergence on the rsi there's a single divergence on their uh on the macd so these are at the same time and so i really want to pay attention to them if we start to see weakness drop below 166 we're gonna cross over on this MACD and negative territories right there. So something bad is coming around the corner. At least that's what momentum is telling us, unless they just want to keep the circus playing, right? Keep the music going. So just pay attention to Amazon for that curl up for bullishness and for that rejection for downward pressure. And then the monthly scale, very important there. So Nvidia, you're probably looking at this and going, oh, the MACD on Nvidia doesn't have any divergences or anything like that. Well, the cross up right here told us, hey, upside and look what happens. Upside positive territory does mean a lot. We talk about it in the course a lot. So please take that course while it is $100. The price is about to go up. But what do we notice here? If this curled over, OK, we would overall say pullback for the MACD. The only thing that's interesting is the RSI is giving you a little divergence here and you're starting to see weakness for like the first time. So if we're going to see more weakness come in, that would make sense. Maybe we get our monthly range up and I think 95.63 would be a nice place to bounce from, but we could just hold up at any point, curl over just for a little bit and then see that thing rotate back up, maybe finding some kind of quick little divergence here going into the fall. I think that is the most likely scenario unless we just start to tear down, but I don't think they're going to let this market tear down. They haven't let it. And we've seen that dollar just go higher and higher and higher while the market goes higher and higher. And, and the crazy thing is like Ken Griffin with Citadel literally came out and he said, like, we don't we price stocks at what we think they are valued, which is very, very crazy to me that he said we price stocks where the, where we think they are valued, not where they're actually valued you know, based on the buying and selling, just where they think it is valued. And I think that's a very sketchy thing to have as power as a market 
maker. I think that that's very, very sketchy. But if this curled over, we'd have to say pullback. But as of right now, still bullish. So if that's going to curl over, we may see something more dramatic. And then maybe we curl up over time. But right now, I'm really leaning towards some kind of quick turn down, quick turn up. I think that that would be the most likely scenario here. But for now, it's still in a bullish trend. AMD, what do we notice here? Well, this one actually has pulled back dramatically. So if it starts to catch a bid and cross up, well, we could actually go test this uh, closing high up here or even go a little bit higher. So we'll pay attention to this. But for now, I would say, hey, well, we're starting to curl up on the shorter timeframes. I think the shorter timeframes are pretty important for AMD. So make sure you're subscribed and come back on Sunday to watch some uh, more stuff on the shorter timeframes. And then we'll have those uh, monthly ranges out for all the stocks that we cover on Patreon. So go down in the link in the description to get that Patreon because monthlies are pretty helpful. What do we notice here? Hey, if this started to just keep pulling down though, it's right by negative territory. Maybe on the daily scale, we may need to make some kind of stronger base okay so on the daily side here we're noticing that it is negative in negative territory and it's trying to curl up so this is a moment to really pay attention because we've broken through the trend a little bit and the daily says hey i could turn up right here so the daily could be turning up for amd pay attention to that for positivity but if we start to just not confirm that start to come down dramatically well maybe we need to make a stronger base you know this was a pretty strong base with the divergence down here on the daily scale you can see it down there on the macd you can see it down here on the rsi at the same time and boom we start to head up from there but now we've consolidated for some time and this looks like just a swing trade at this point and if this starts to curl up uh oh we might see some positive positive action for amd if that starts to reject well, we're negative already. So we'll really be paying attention to this going into this week. And I think we got to watch AMD very, very closely um, on the daily and the weekly scale, seeing what goes on with that. Meta, what do we notice here? Well, this hasn't confirmed the next move higher. This really has not confirmed the next move higher. I believe we had two hour divergences in this move. So it's really looking like a daily will cross over and this is starting to reject. You see it's starting to point down. So you are overall still in a pullback for Meta and maybe you need to make a stronger base by curling over on this MACD and giving us a stronger base over time. Maybe we need to do something like this to actually create a stronger base in the near price action before we actually head higher for meta. So we're paying attention to higher and lower moves and we're just trying to react. We trade like water on this channel. So meta, what do we pay attention to? Well, the two hour divergence here rolling over a daily can happen with a two hour divergence. And look at this. It's starting to look like it wants to roll over. So you have AMD that looks like on the daily, hey, it wants to roll up, but you have meta saying, hey, I kind of want to go down to at least go find some buyers or if, or completely reverse the trend around. So pay close attention to meta. There is weakness up here on the shorter time frames, and we'll talk about that on Sunday. Looking at AMC, the big, big thing for AMC is this is a great, great bar. You're starting to close above all the shorter moving averages. You only have one left okay you only have one left we're going to be giving out monthly expected moves and weekly expected moves for this which is great because then you know how high up the stock needs to go in order to see a gamma squeeze you know the exact level how high up it needs to go to start seeing that and if it holds as resistance that's not a good thing but the big thing here is going to be this turning up this turning up into positive territory would be a huge deal and it's starting to give a lot of signs that that is going to happen so we want to look on the weekly scale and just say oh okay well if that daily can turn up maybe the weekly actually starts to go positive i know this looks bad this does not look like good movement here but if we're able to go positive we should take that into consideration and the biggest thing for uh, amc is still going to be if this monthly was able to turn up and guess what it was you got a green bar for the whole month of june here so that is a green bar which just means hey the last time something happened guess what we curled up on a green bar in about i think it was eight months later we saw a big, big thing happen. So it can take some time. It looks like the process is sped up a little bit this time. So we'll pay attention to it, but we really have to see if monthlies are going positive, if weeklies are going positive. And especially, I think if you want the earliest signal, it's if this daily starts to curl up, I wonder what we're gonna see. We're probably gonna see something crazy happen. So we need those ranges, okay? We need those ranges in order to know, hey, is something crazy happening or are they fighting against it at that level? That'll be important. GME, similar story, right? So we need that line in the sand for us to tell us, hey, are we going to go into some kind of gamma squeeze? And then maybe that leads into a short squeeze. So 2779 was last week's level. We're gonna give you that level again tomorrow on Patreon for GameStop. 
And what would we need to happen? The daily needs to turn up. The daily needs to turn up. If that turns up, that's a very good sign. The weekly already positive. This is bullish. If that rolls over, it's not going to be the moment. We're going to see downward pressure. But for now, it is bullish in bullish territory, right? In positive territory. On the monthly scale, we want to see if this one was able to turn up. And guess what? It was. Once again, once that turned up in the past, it was a few, it was like maybe a year later that thing started to blast off. So just pay attention to right now. The, this is definitely different than last time because the monthly curl up is completely different. So I think it's sped up and we might see uh, some kind of bigger price action in the near future. So pay attention to GME on all these scales. But the first one is the daily needs to turn up. All right, now let's go look at volatility and then we'll be all set here. But volatility needs to turn up on the monthly scale. That would be a good sign. What can turn that up? Well, this weekly divergence that is still there. It is still there and everyone's kind of getting pretty bullish. We're seeing PCC, we're seeing put call ratios that are starting to get pretty bullish. And this could just turn up at any time. You're getting so tight into the end of this overall wedging that's happening here. So you're starting to come into the end of that. If this thing turns up and goes positive, it's not gonna be good news. And we're gonna have volatility that is probably here to stay for quite a long time. So just pay attention to volatility. I think that's a very, very good thing to end on if this thing crosses up into positive territory. Volatility's back and it's back with a vengeance. All right, so the main takeaway here is we're paying attention to these bigger time frames just to be like, okay, how are stocks looking from maybe an investment perspective or a risk perspective? And right now they're just looking like really high levels and it looks like the market is being just blatantly manipulated higher as the dollar is at higher levels ever since um, pretty much right here, right? Ever since December. So we saw the big run and the dollar backed off because of that. But since then, we've just seen the dollar go higher, which tells us there's extreme insider selling. And I keep saying this and people say it's wrong. And I'm like, and then we hear, you know, news about NVIDIA coming out and all the insiders selling the most NVIDIA that they've ever sold in its history. So I just think you really have to pay attention to your risk here. We have to pay attention to the dollar turning up, looking like on the monthly scale, it could rotate up, which means the dollar goes dramatically up. I don't think that the spy is going to be able to be manipulated anymore once that happens or something in the system is going to break and there's going to be a flight to cash. So we'll pay attention to that. This can take a long time to um, like form happen and all those things. But if we're paying attention to it at the right moments, and I believe right now is one of those moments with a weekly divergence on both the spy and the cues, you will be just fine because you'll know how to react based on these things. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to get that course for $100 just for a few more days. Um, if you're dedicating yourself to some learning over the weekend, you know, as always, I still encourage you, go have a good weekend, touch grass, spend time with family. Make sure you're coming into the market this coming week with a good head on your shoulders as we do have light volume. But And I'm looking forward to fourth of July. So thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend. And I'll uh, see you guys on Sunday for the shorter time frames. Peace.